Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you can see the red graphics behind us. Heat alert is still on. And sometimes, in fact, a lot of times when we get this hot in the afternoon, it's hard to keep the atmosphere from rising. When you get rising motion, you're going to bubble up showers and storms. That's exactly what we had last night. And some of them, some of these thunderstorms snuck into the Wasatch Front. Here's South Weber, a uh, lightning strike here uh, captured by June Miller. Got out there this morning around 1, 2 a.m. Here's a look at old radar from early, early this morning from about midnight into 2 a.m. We had a round of thunderstorms, some of them producing a quick punch of rain. So if you got woken up by it, that's what was going on. Here's some of the rain totals. Locomotive Springs at the extreme north end of the Salt Lake, of the Great Salt Lake, picked up a quarter inch of rain just real quick, just like that. Morgan Valley, 1100s, Kaysville, a tenth, the quick ten tenth of an inch as well for West Haven. Centerville, 900s, but I have been hearing reports that we could have seen a little bit more than that, maybe towards a quarter. 300s at Sardine Summit and Logan, just enough to get the ground wet. So that's something we're watching for tonight as we've got high pressure to the east. That usually opens the door for a little bit of Gulf moisture to sneak in, but we're also going to add a little bit of dynamics, a small, small low pressure system swinging in from California. It should be enough to crack off a couple of storms this evening, so don't be alarmed uh, if you hear a little something tonight again, because we got those storms. Here's Saturday, 5 p.m., more storms popping in the West Desert, but notice how the clouds and maybe some showers could try to sneak in here Saturday night, just like last night. Sunday looks dry. Temperatures going to be hot, though, in the mid-90s. For today, we're looking at storms. A lot of these in the late afternoon and evening. We'll call them PM storms through central Utah. Hot and dry St. George 104. Loa, you have a slight chance. And then uh, Moab also, but I've left uh, Grand County part in the cloudy. Heber City 91, you got a chance for an evening storm. The same for the West Desert. Windover to Brigham City. Sandy, even Provo, Looking at a chance for some storms tonight. St. George, 104 to 102 to 99. We're then going to rise back to triple digits as we head into next week. Wasatch Front, look at this. 93 to 92 will go dry Saturday, but again, Saturday night we could see a thunderstorm, late Saturday night. Uh, cooling Monday, Tuesday, but back at it with more heat with numbers in the red as we get into middle next week. Matt, thank you. Well, one officer.